What's up, y'all? Before we get into today's video, I would just like to clarify what I mean when I say Scientologist grifter. Uh, now, what I mean directly is someone who pretends to be altruistic or know more than they know, uh, charge for their information and or create a product that must be paid for, uh, and gives money, a portion, or a, uh, a pre-allocated uh, percentage of that money to the Church of Scientology, whether for their own means or for uh, David Miscavige's uh, legal war chest to harass victims of Scientology who speak out, etc. It's someone who gives a lot of money to Scientology while pretending to be someone who actually cares about things in the real world, usually someone with influence who has a big following. And these are the Dr. Bergs and the Grant Cardone types, although today I'm not talking about Dr. Berg. I'm talking about Tiffany McGee, or Tiffany Elizabeth. She goes by both on her socials, and she's a weight loss health influencer. She sells products like electrolytes. She even has an ebook that she's made. And she has a pretty big following. And from what I understand, she makes a lot of money doing this, okay? Now, how do I know she's a Scientologist? Well, I had never heard of this person. Uh, but for good reason, because she blocked me on every single platform before I had even heard of her. So preemptively, she knew who I was. She knows what I talk about on here. She blocked me. TikTok, Twitter, threads of all places. It's, it's crazy. She's had some scandals, including thinking she has Lyme disease, I think. Believe it or not, she has a lot of contradicting information. I'm not going to go into a crazy amount of detail in this video, but maybe I can do it in a another video. There's actually an entire uh, Reddit thread of, of people who look into her uh, contradicting claims. If you want to pause that and read. Uh, yeah, I think people have been on her uh, for a while. But to further prove my claim, I have at my disposal what very few people have. And that is access to the Scientologist Facebook group where all the Scientologists hang out. And I found this person there. Who? Does that not look like you and your husband? And you posting, asking for information, looking for people to talk to about marketing? Looking for a nanny in a cult that literally protects and harbors pedophiles? Not a good idea. All hands on deck, promoting Battlefield Earth. Uh, if there's one place you don't need to promote Battlefield Earth, it's in the Scientologist Facebook page. I'll tell you that. But they don't like to be public about it. If you're public about it, you're connected to Scientology, which is by proxy bad. Uh, even uh, looking for a Scientologist to be a personal assistant, to work over 40 hours a week, travel back and forth between L.A. and Clearwater, uh, where Scientologist's biggest church is, um, for $15 an hour, which you'd have to be an idiot to work these kinds of hours for this wage, for this kind of work, for somebody who makes a lot of money, like a crazy amount of money doing this. But uh, most Scientologists are kind of dumb. It's not their fault. Oh, but at least she's a self-made entrepreneur. Is that so? Is this your dad, uh, Chris, Chris Esty, who owns the vitamin manufacturing company that you make all your products with? The same Chris Esty that's on the list of elite ambassadors with regards to donations to Scientology? A, a literal picture of your entire family when uh, you won an award for donations to Scientology? Uh, uh, this is you? No? When your brother went clear at flag, I actually know these two Sea Org members with the suits on. I've actually been inside this room that they're standing in front of when I went clear. I also know that your brother is on his OT levels, but your brother isn't uh, giving people advice on the internet for money. Now, Tiffany, you've had some controversies where uh, you claim to have been diagnosed with Lyme disease, but couldn't actually prove it. You took a non-CDC recommended test and... This is what you had to say when people were uh, accusing you of pretending you had Lyme disease. I'm telling you guys, I'm always talking to my dad. I was talking to my dad this morning. And I was like, what are you supposed to do when people are literally kicking you on the floor saying, admit that you killed that dog? And you're like, but I didn't kill the dog. And they're like, no, you admit that you did it because if you don't admit it, then I'm going to kill you. But I didn't do it. Well, just admit it, because we know you did. 
So believe it or not, this is the kind of grandiosity and over-exaggeration that lives in the mind of every Scientologist uh, who is actively like deep in the lore, you know? Now what interests me is that many Scientologists randomly get diagnosed with Lyme disease. My dad has also been diagnosed with Lyme disease. Uh, and it all seems to be by the same doctor. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Tiffany's primary care physician is Dr. David Minkoff. Now, he looks scarier in real life. Trust me, I've met him about a dozen times. Uh, he's a good friend of both my parents. Uh, he is actually one of the doctors who oversaw Lisa McPherson uh, when she was held against her will. Uh, he also diagnosed Whitney Mills with Lyme disease. He subsequently was found to not have and instead suffered a psychotic break and did um, unalive in a very graphic and brutal way. Now, I wouldn't trust a Scientologist with medical advice, especially because uh, Scientology is rampant with science denial, and we know this from my previous TikToks, but if for those of you who don't, I'm sure there's a lot of you who are just learning this for the first time. Uh, it's It doesn't look good. Do your research on Scientology. Definitely listen to the people whom Scientology has abused, uh, and uh, you know, you'll learn what you need to know. So even if you blocked me on every platform, I'm coming for you. Uh, I will talk about how you should Take responsibility for the human trafficking cult to which you and your entire family gives a lot of money. Talk about things that are uncomfortable. Why is it so terrifying to be known as a Scientologist? Answer that for me. Because it uh, doesn't matter if you block me. I'll find you on the internet. I'm, I have no interest in speaking to this person in real life. I'm not going to say that she doesn't mean well. But I will say that it is more suspicious that you are hiding your Scientology affiliation uh, when you're also trying to appear a good influence. Scientology has just sided with Danny Masterson, the twice convicted rapist. Uh, I know people who pretend to be uh, uh, defenders of women and uh, supporters of women against abuse and then are in Scientology and still think that somehow their affiliation with a group that condones and even protects women abusers and children abusers and R-wordists and pedophiles. You don't really have a lot of credibility at that point. So uh, my only question is, Tiffany, what now? We eagerly await your response. Ta-da for now.